Ayan, so as I was telling everyone, ang lesson natin today ay Electric Circuits. Uh, ito yung paborito kong topic sa buong P6 ko. Kasi ra lang, masaya na siyang gawin, no? Um, na Nakabend talaga ng mind. So I like it. And so yung mag-imagine. And ito rin yung kukunin kong course, something related to this. Um, electronics Engineering, ganun. So, sige. Um, let's start. So, electric circuits. No, I, I'm sure naman you know what a circuit is. So, let's start with the basic terms. So, um, time battery, capacitor, resistor, wires, uh, switches and grounds, which will not deal that with much. So, sige, let's just get into it. Uh, sabi ko nga, ang battery ay uh, ano, source of electric charges called a current that powers a circuit. May dalawang terminal siya, positive and negative terminal. You'll know the exact composition of batteries and how they actually work kapag nag-electrochemistry uh, kayo sa chem, which will not cover na. Ngayon, ang electric current has a symbol of A, amperes ang kanyang unit. Defined as any steady flow of electric charge. Ang isa na pang definition ay uh, charge per unit time. Kaya ang isang ampere ay 1 coulomb per second. Tapos ano yung direction ng, ng current, no? Um, parati siyang, ano, di ba yun yung battery? Positive terminal, negative terminal. Pag ganito parati siya, palabas parati siya. Hindi siya, hindi siya ganun na, I guess. So, let, let, me, let me make this clear. Ngayon, ano yung difference? May conventional current, may electron flow. Ang electrons flow from low to high potential kasi opposites attract nga, di ba? Yun. Pag ganun siya. Pero conventional current, uh, this is uh, conventional current, convention, no? How scientists uh, determine the direction of current is just simply from plus to minus. So, pag ganito siya parati. So, lahat ng direction ng current natin, unless otherwise stated, is always like this sa lesson natin today. Okay? Pag ganun parati siya, ha? From plus, paikot to minus. Uh, ayan lang. Kasi, yung conventional current ay, ano, uh, flow of positive charges. Kaya lang, alam natin na sa mga metal, or, di ba, na-discuss natin na, electrons lang yung charge no? Pero, um, pero, ayun, so, we're just going to follow the convention kasi, yun ang sabi ng mga scientists from plus to minus pa ikot. Okay, electric ground, return path for electric current, especially due to faulty wiring. Example, sobrang laking electric charge ang dadaan bigla sa wire ng cellphone mo. Eh, buti na lang, kaya minsan yung mga charger, meron silang, ano, meron silang third na prong kaya minsan kailangan natin adapter kasi tawag doon ground for safety purposes yun. Di ba yung usual na saksakan, dalawa lang, pero yung iba tatlo, yung iba apat, for ground yun. Electric circuit, uh, yung path or line through which an electric current flows. Um, Siyempre, nagkakaroon na ng circuit or conducting path kapag naging magkonekta yung uh, dalawang, dalawang terminal ng battery. Right? Then, my load sa gitna. Okay, some other terminologies. Uh, voltage, EMF source. Tawag dyan ay load. Okay? Um, electromotive force. Uh, ang unit, ang symbol niya ay ito, epsilon, na malaki. Tapos, ang unit niya, volts. Okay? Uh, yun, battery is the source of electromotive force for the circuit that powers the flow of charges. EMF is not a force, pero yun lang yun nagda-drive ng flow of charges along a circuit. Okay? Resistance. Um, resistance uh, regulates the flow of current in a circuit para hindi masyadong, um, para hindi masyadong malaki yung current na nagpa-pass through the components of your circuit. This is how it looks like sa circuit diagram. Uh, unit niya, ohms. Uh, ito, we don't need it, pero ganun siya binabasa, no? Meron siyang code, which we'll not discuss naman. Um, ito, just for your information, ito yung totoong formula niya, no? Pero we don't need this. 
um, disregard lang ito. Okay? Ohm's Law. Ito, I'm pretty sure na you're very familiar with this. Uh, narinig nyo man siguro to. Uh, v equals IR. Right? V equals IR. Uh, relationship between voltage and current. So, linear siya, no? So, if binigyan ka ng IV curve, current and voltage curve, uh, ohmic material obeys Ohm's law. Ganyan siya. Uh, Non-ohmic material naman, basta hindi siya linear, and take note, arag siya start siya dapat sa zero. Kasi pag R equals zero, zero yung voltage, no? So, ayan, um, non-ohmic material doesn't follow a linear trend. Sige, let's try this out. Um, a small vol a small flashlight bulb draws 300 milliamps from its 1.5 volts battery. Sige nga, what is the resistance of the bulb? Game. Dari lang yan. <laughs> One minute for both. Pakisend na lang sa group chat. Oh, um, yo, send answers na tayo. Hmm. Dali, send na. <laughs> Let's go. Five ohms. Yes. Hard track ako pag tama, ha? Yes. Good job. Good job sa inyong lahat. Sige, go. Continue lang. Para, kasi important na gets to. Kasi mamaya, purugan po tayo. <laughs> Okay, good job. Okay, go keep it coming. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, good job yan. So, it's a being gets lahat yan. So, um, yung una, it's just V equals IR. R equals V over I. So, you would get, um, you would get 5 ohms. Tama ba? Yes, we'll get 5 ohms. For letter B, uh, V equals IR pa rin, kaya lang, this time, alam na natin yung, ano, alam na natin yung current, no? Ay yung resistance. So, I equals V over R, which is 0.24. Good job. Internal resistance. So, the batteries must have resistance to cause charges move. Kasi, uh, kaya naman gumagalaw charges kasi may resistance for the elements, no? Um, kaya, example, yung nabibili yung 9 volts battery sa, ano, sa yung Everred, yung malaki, pag measure mo siya with a multimeter, di ba 9 volts yung advertised, mapapansin mo hindi. Kasi, ang tawag doon, terminal voltage, okay? Yun ang quote-unquote actual voltage in the circuit when current is drawn from the battery. Ayan. So, whatever the current is, times that internal resistance, yun ang may measure sa voltmeter mo, no? Kaya, minsan, nagulat ka na ng, ay, ba't ganun? Scam pala to, ah. Hindi. Uh, kasi, terminal voltage yun na ikita mo. Kaya, pag nagka-calculation sa circuit, sa mga experiment, or sa totoong buhay, ina-account yun, okay? Ayan. Sige. Ayan. So, in other terms, um, Ang voltage pala, take note, ha, it's also potential difference. Meron din kayong makikita ang words na potential drop. Yon, potential difference, potential drop. Pare-pareho lang lahat yon guys. Ha. Kaya, yan. Ayan. In other words, terminal voltage is literally the dif uh, potential difference between the terminals. Okay? Ayan. It's equal to the EMF minus I times the internal resistance. So, example. Sige, ako muna dito. Let me just draw the circuit. Sa ano? Ay, mali. Mahirap dito. Mahirap mag-drawing ng circuit talaga. 65 ohms. 0.5. Tsaka 12 volts. Maybe. Okay. Sige. Um, let's ano, just look at the whiteboard. Ah. Just look at the whiteboard. Okay. Let me fix the whiteboard. Ang konti. Ayan. Tapos ayusin ko na yung pagka-zoom nito. Yan, okay. Now, let's compute. So, letter A. Um, calculate the current in the circuit. So, alam natin na, alam natin na ganito, ah. V equals to, um, yung terminal voltage is equal to um, I times yung resistance na to. Big R. Right? Kaya lang, ito yon, Itong V. Yan yon, Okay? Yan. So, um, ganyan siya. So, yung voltage equals to, voltage ito is equal to I times ito. Kaya lang, take note, may internal resistance. E minus IR equals IR. Solving, for I, E equals IR plus IR. So, E equals I times R plus R. I equals E over R plus R equals to 12 over um, 12 over R plus R, which is 65.5. We would get um, we would get, teka, let me calculate, 12 divided by 65.5 is equal to 
um, point. Tama ba ako? Let's check the, ano? Yan, tama. It's equal to point 0.183. Next, the letter B. What is the terminal voltage of the battery? Okay. So, sabi ko nga kanina, terminal voltage is E minus IR. E nahanap na natin yung I. So, let's just, uh, let's just do that again. Um, e minus IR equals 12 volts minus 0.183 times 0.5. We should get... Um, we should get around um, 11.9 volts. Nagets ba, guys? Gets naman yung gagawin? Gets naman, guys? Gets pa. Okay. Sige. Um, let's go to the next example. So, yun naman. Kayo naman. I'll give you... I'll give you 3 minutes naman for this. Okay? Sige. Uh, look at the PowerPoint na lang. There you go. Just going to... Hindi na kailangan mag-drawing ng circuit for that. Kahit isipin na lang. 3 minutes. Let's go. Okay. Bilis. Good job. Heart rate ako pag tama. Dalawa yung tanong guys ha. Dalawa yung tanong. May, may ano pa. May kasunod pa yan. Dalawa yung tanong. Ano naman daw yung resistance ng starter? Yan. Sige, go. Go lang. Keep the answers coming. Mm-hmm. Good job. Job. Okay, let's just wait for one more. <laughs> Green yet, right, guys? Wow. Let's 
Sige. Ayan, nag-type na si Manuel. Kaling! Good job! Okay, let's just discuss briefly. So, terminal voltage drops to um, drops to 8.8 volts. So, just let's look at the whiteboard, no? Um, E minus 8.8 equals IR. R equals E minus 8.8 over I. 12 minus 8.8 over I. Uh, ano to? Uh, 95, no? You'll get around 0 0.034 ohms. Next. You R of the starter is just the terminal voltage divided by I. Kasi pwede nang diretso yun. 8.8 over 9.5 equals to 0 0.093 ohms. Good job! Kering. Okay. And let's look at uh, our knowledge uh, lesson. So, um, I wait. Set, uh, set ko na to high definition. There we go. Um, let's continue, ha? Huh? So, capacitors, uh, it's a device that stores electric charge. It looks like this in real life. Ang unit niya is farad. Um, total charge in a capacitor is Q equals to CV. Uh, yan, yung, yan yung symbol niya. No? Uh, we don't need to memorize this formula. Pero, you need to know this. Um, uh, but, but nga pala siya nagsistore ng electric charge? No? Kasi, two parallel plates... Tapos, meron yung ano, may potential difference yan. Okay? That holds the charges. So, next. Uh, okay. Simple capacitor consists of a pair of parallel plates of area A separated by a small distance D rolled into cylinders separated by insulators. It only depends on geometry. Ito na important dyan, ha? And never on Q and V. Ito, ha? Hindi. Kumbaga, these two things don't affect capacitance. Ang mag affect lang ay geometry, A or D. Okay? Always remember that, ha? Ngayon, let's go to the main topic for today. Dito tayo magtatagal sa electric circuits talaga. Um, start. So, resistors in series and parallel. This one, is a parallel circuit. This one is a series circuit. Ano ta naman sa appearance nila, no? Parallel kasi ganyan. They don't meet. So, you expect them to have two points of connection. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yan. That's how you identify. Next. Kung naman series, kita nyo, di ba, sunod-sunod sila. So, yan. One, two, three. Kaya sila series. Kasi, tuloy-tuloy lang yung daloy ng kuryente sa kanila. Only one point of connection between each series element. So, let's start with resistors in uh, series. Series arrangement. So, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, um, series, uh, resistors are in series configuration if only... Single point of connection with each other. Yon na explain ko na kanina ko na yon. Moreover, charge and current is the same for each element. Lastly, voltage of each resistor is not necessarily equal unless pareho yung pareho yung uh, resistance nila. We'll, we'll know more of that later. So ano yung formula, no? So example, we have this circuit. So let's focus on this uh, small three, three small ones, no? Um, sabi nga natin, pareho yung current pero yung voltage hindi. So let's express the voltage of each ano element. V1 by ohms do lang yan. V1 equals IR1, V2 equals IR2, V3 equals IR3. Next, your total voltage is just the sum of the voltages, malamang. So, ito pala ang term equivalent resistance. So, ang equivalent resistance is the resistance of these resistors as one resistor only. Kumpaga, siya yung pinakatsuma total na resistance ng circuit after all. Okay? Um, next, uh, ayan. Then, moving on, 
uh, ex- uh, substituting values, you get this. So, R E Q of a series circuit is just the sum of the resistances of all its resistors. No? So, yan. Uh, yun yung sabihin na R E Q. No? Uh, ito, naging isa na lang. R E Q. Okay? Importante kasi yun sa, uh, si- sa circuits. No? Um, ayan. Uh, just a summary. Ito yung pinaka-important takeaway for this. Equal ang currents. In a, uh, ang voltages add up and the resistances add up. Then most uh, most importantly, R E Q is the greatest. Okay? Ano pa ba? Ayun. So ito naman what if parallel naman yung mga circuits natin. So sabi ko nga kanina, they have two points of connection. Lahat sila They are connected here. Dalawang points, di ba? Bawat isa. Resistors are in parallel configuration if they have two points of connection with each other. Uh, next, uh, voltage is the same for each element. Yon baliktad sila ng series, no? Next is, charge or current of each resistor is not equal unless all the resistances are the same. So, baliktad lang sila. Okay, baliktad lang sila. So, ayan, uh, focusing on the three, we get this. So, ngayon, pansin nyo, pareho na V. Kasi kung ano man yan, nadidistribute lang sa bawat isa. Taking the voltages of each one, kasi meron silang current na isa-isa, bawat isa, V equals I1, R1, V equals I2, R2, V equals I3, R3. Now, we solve for the current, kasi ngayon naman, ang vol ang current ang ina-add up. So syempre, uh, dahil na breakdown into different branches yung current, uh, yung current is the sum of the three independent currents. So I1 is this, I2 is this, I3 is this. Uh, substituting, we get this. Canceling out, we get this, no? So the sa- the, re- the the um, the sum of the reciprocals of your resistances is equal to the reciprocal of the uh, equivalent resistance of the circuit. So, yan. Ganun lang din ulit. From here, na-simplify natin into 1. Yan siya. So, suma total, uh, ito yung formulas. Dito naman, important points to note. V is equal per element. I is the sum. I uh, total is the sum of the individual currents. And lastly, uh, ito. Where R, the equivalent resistance is the least among everyone. I'm sorry. So, yan. Let me demonstrate. Sige, para naman na na. Look at the PowerPoint na lang. So, two 100 ohm resistors are in, are connected to a 24 volt battery as shown. What is the current flowing from the battery through each resistor? Letter B, what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit? Okay. Sige, ganito yan. Um, okay, Kim. Um, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Ito, ito, ito. Um, game, letter A. Uh, I won't draw the circuit na. Tingin na kayo sa whiteboard. So, current flowing from the battery. So, ah, sige na, I'll draw it na. Mm. Ito, pag ganyan, parallel connection. So, let's get, we need the current from the battery. So, ano ba yung current from the battery? V equals I R E Q. Yung buong, uh, yung buong resistance, no? So, um, 1 over R E Q equals 1 over 100 plus 1 over 100. Uh, simplifying, 1 over nito is 50 ohms. So, volts, 24 over... I-24 equals I times 50 ohms. I equals 24 over 
or point forty-eight amperes. Yun na nasagot na natin yung isa. Next, how about through each resistor? Okay, here, dito na apply yung mga concept. Technically, dahil pareho sila ng resistance, safe to say na na si split lang yung current between the two of the resistors. So point twenty-four amperes ang sagot. Pero uh, let's ano let's consider yung Let's consider yung let's consider yung concept. So, di ba voltage is equal for each for each element? Kasi parallel sila, so 24 volts equals to uh, I1 R1. 24 volts equals I2 R2. Solving um, I1 equals 0.24 amps. I2 equals 0.24 amps. Then for the letter B, nasagot na natin kanina, REQ equals 50 ohms. Nag-gets ba guys? Nag-gets naman? Uh, yes sir. Okay. Sige. Um, dali pa naman to, don't worry. Um, next is this one. Wait lang. Mali ito, mali ito. Sorry. Um, dapat 50 yan. Sa et, dito yung 200 ohms. Okay? Okay. Ito. Letter B. Ito naman. Paano naman ko series yung same circuit? Oop. Sorry. Paano kong series naman yung same circuit na yun? Sige. Let's look at the PowerPoint. So, draw muna tayo na circuit. Yan. V equals 24 volts. Okay. Um, what is the current flowing from the battery through each resistor? So, um, okay. Alam natin ano. Let's take the, ano muna? Let's take the, let's do letter B first. Kasi mas madali yun, di ba? Let's do letter B first. Um, and letter B, equivalent resistance. Kasi yung current through each battery is the same. Diba? The same yan for every, ano, the same yan for every element, no? Kasi series nga sila. So, equivalent resistance equals R1 plus R2. As simple as that. 200 ohms. Now, we have the current through the, from the battery equal to the one in each current. Kasi diba, V equals IR, I equals V over R, equals to 24 over 200, equals to um, 12 over 100.12 ampere. Let's see if tama ako. Yes, tama ako. Nag-gets ba, guys? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Sige. Uh, ngayon, paano naman pag ganito? Halo-halo na, di ba? Kasi if we look, this thing is in series with the two of these, pero this is in parallel with each other. Okay, paano yan? So, kailangan nating so hindi man pwedeng dire-diretso yan, di ba? So, let me just, uh, let me just uh, fix the ink. So, now, we have to express this as one resistor. Tapos, tsaka ito. So, bale, ang tawag sa teknik na to, uh, from small to whole. Maliit, palaki, palabas. From inner, palabas. Uh, that's how to solve yung mga circuit problems na ganito. Okay. So, just look at the whiteboard for now. Teka, ha? Sige, let's look at the whiteboard for now, ha? Hmm...
Okay. So, let's look at the whiteboard. I'm sorry for my drawing, no? Hirap try my drawing ng ganito. I1, I2, I1, I2. How much current is drawn from the battery shown dito? Sige. Um, sabi nga natin, ang V equals I R E Q. So, we have to find R E Q first. Paano yun? Ito, sabi ko nga, make it as one circuit. So, may ganito na lang yan. Paano? 1 over R. Ito. Sabi natin, R3 equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. R3 equals 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So, it's uh, 1 over 1 over 700 plus 1 over 500. So, if we solve this, um, Two hundred ninety two ohms, parang ganon, something like that. Then take note, na this one is in series with this. So your R four, which is the whole of this, is just this one plus four hundred ohms. So ang R E Q natin is around six ninety two ohms, no? I equals V over 692 ohms will get um, 0 0.0173 ohms. Nakuha ba guys? I think I'm a bit too fast, no? Tama ba? Nakuha ba? Yes, sir. Yung iba, nakuha ba? Yung iba. Okay. So, yeah. So, kaya ako, kaya ako binibilisan kasi medyo marami tayong didiscuss today. Yan, tama ako. Pero, I have a follow-up question. Sige nga. Let me try you. What is the value of I1 and I2? Sige. Given na ang, um, given na to ah, uh, I equals 0 0.017A. Sige nga, let me try. What is the value of I1 and I2? Again. Look at the PowerPoint na lang ah. To. Ang I kanina is, uh, sulit ko dito, I equals 0 0.017. So, given na yun eh. I'll give you three minutes for this.
let's fix the drawing. Really? Teka ha? Check kulit mo. Magkaiba tayo na sagot eh. Pero sige, I'll check din yung akin. Mm. Sir, a uh, question lang. Okay. Yung voltage sa ano, uh, parallel circuit. Spread equally ba or as in equal? Kumbaga, is it divided uh, equally? Or... No, no, no. Okay, ganito. Um, sige, ah, let me just, uh, sige, let me clarify that. Teka, uh, ganito yan. Sige, for ano, for, par, for, for series circuit, yung current, dahil, di ba, series, isa na yung dinadaanan nila, di ba? So, yung current is just the same for each element. As in equal, hindi nag-spread out as in equal. Yung voltages sa series, nag add up sila to the total. Sa parallel, baliktad. Ang voltage, parallel, equal yan. Equal yan, kahit ano mangyari. Hindi spread out even yan, equal. Tapos kapag sa current naman sa parallel circuits, uh, doon, naghihiwalay-hiwalay yun. Okay? So, yung total current in a parallel circuit is the sum of the individual currents. Yun. Gets na? Sige, sir. Okay. Divide by... Divided by... 500. Times 500. Pos... Divided by 700. Yes, tama ako. Okay. So you go. Let's spend a bit time of this, on this.
Sige, 3 minutes na lang guys. Si R lang ako ah. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, 10, taga, 10 milliamps ba to? Um, kasi di ako, na ano ko eh. Taga, let's see ah. Uh. Yeah, heart react ko pag tama. Um, okay, yan. Good job. Heart react. Sige ko, habot yung iba. If meron kayong din naiintindihan ha, tell me lang. Oh, sige. Two minutes more.
Ah, so yeah. I'll, 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 I'll put in a bit of hints. Um, for a parallel. Ay, meron na nito type. Sige, try natin. Ayan! Sige, I'll wait. Before I give a hint. Join 3.35. Okay. Oh. Um. See, time's up. Okay. Um. Kento. See. Um. Kento. Kento. Uh. Kento. Ah. Eh? Um. Di ba? We have this. Na we have. Meron na tayo nito. Um, what's next? We already have this. We already have this, no? Uh, how do we get current given resistance? So we need the voltage across each one, right? So what options do we have? Alam natin na kapag in series yung itong dalawa na to, the sum of their voltages is equal to this. So, kaya may mga points dito. They are used to uh, denote yung potential difference at points in the circuit. Kaya ganun. So, kaya ito. V equals V from this to this, tsaka V from this to this. VBC. So, we can get VBC from here, which is equal to 12 volts, minus ano to? IR ito, IR. Point. Basa, ano ba sabi ko? Point. Point 0173A. Times R. Times 400. We will get something around um, 12 minus point zero one seven three times 400. We will get something around 5.08 volts. Ganon. What's next? Ayan. So, from here, yeah, ayusin ko, ha? From here to here, ang voltage is 5.08 volts. Parallel circuit yan. So, yung voltage through each is the same as this one. Yan na, tapos na tayo. I1 equals V over R1, I2 equals V over R2. We'll get na, uh, we can get na I1, I2 equals 2. Um, ganito. Look at the PowerPoint mo lang. We'll get na ganyan. 0 0.0 0 amperes or kaya 0 0.007 amperes. Or you can convert that to milliamps. Your choice. Nuggets ba, guys? Honestly. Nuggets ba? Hmm? 
Nagets siya ba, guys? Yes, pa. Okay. Sige. Ngayon, let's try that again. Pero ngayon, something bigger. Ayan. Ito, all by yourself. Sige, let's go. Um, integration ng mga... Um, integration ng mga pinag-aralan natin since kanina. Sige, let's go. Take note na ito, ah, take note na ito kahit internal resistance siya, ano pa rin siya? Um, in series pa rin siya with the, ano, with the whole thing. Okay? Yeah, that's one thing to note. Let's see. Kung tama yung sinabi ko. Hira pala to ah. Sige, I'll, I'll, I'll give 10 minutes for this. Ayun, tama ako. Ayun na, um, ito kahit may internal resistance siya, take note na it's still part of the circuit. So, this one is in series with the others. Okay? Sige.
Yeah, medyo mahirap nga to. Sorry guys. <laughs> Napansin. Oh my god, wait ah. Let's see. Mali, mali. Mali eh. Shucks, mahirap pala to. Sige, in... Sige, sige. Go, go. Bantin nyo lang. Sorry guys. Okay, sige. Um, okay, sige. Ano ba ito? Mahirap siya, mahirap siya. Ito mm. yung 24 volts. Pwede. Sige, pwede, pwede. Ito, tama. Ito, ito, ito. This one's correct. May heart react. Ano yung... Ano yung... Dapat kasama. Yes. Sabi ko nga di ba? Ang ang ano, ang internal resistance is still a resistor. Still part of the circuit, di ba? So, kung titingnan mo dito, it's in series with the other two elements of the circuit, okay? Remember that? I was explaining that kanina. Kaya siya, kaya siya nakabilog dito eh. Ayun. 
Sige, go. Pero, hmm. Um, ako, I get 10.3. Check mo ulit mo. Sige. I think you guys are almost there eh. I'll give you another 3 minutes. Pag nakuha niyo yung tanong na to, lahat ng tanong sa circuits, masasagutan niyo nga. Promise, guys. <laughs> para lang siya na, ano, para siya yung huli nating discussion sa equilibrium, ganun. If nakuha mo to, okay ka na. I'm going to... Sige nga, I'll do this. I'll try doing this. Ha? I'll check each one of you kung nasa na kayo. Hi. Kamusta na? Do you need help? Okay, sige, sige. Yun na. So, um, starting now, I will I'll try this new technique. I'll try to message each one of you no, if you need help. Hi. You need... I'm trying something new. See. Sige. Si Ayan. Good job. Okay na yan. Heart per act. 0.47 sa C. Pero sige.
Ganun. Letter A. In parallel. 3 over 8. So, seven. Ah. Ay, one over. Alam ko na. Um, okay, okay. Sige. Um, wow. Nag-round off sila agad. <laughs> Siguro tama ka na. Oo nga. Ayan, tama ka pala. Sorry. Okay, guys. Um, ingat lang sa pag-round off, ha? Kasi dapat di tayo nag-round off. Okay. Ano lumabas dito? Teka lang, teka lang may ganun. Ano, ano lumabas dyan? Okay. Ito guys, uh, kinig kayo. Um, tama yung, tama yung 10.14. Tama yun. <laughs> okay, kasi si Book, um, ito ah, si Book kasi, nag-round off siya sa gitna. Dapat di ganun na pag nagka-calculate. Kung kaya niyang dire-diretso yung fraction, okay yon. Tama yung 10.14. Okay, good job. Whatever your value is, sige, Go. Okay na to. Tama yung 10.14 is nakukuha nyo. Okay. So, gata check ko na yung mga sagot sa book. Ano ba yan? Kainis naman yung book. Yeah. We don't practice proper physics. Sige, tingnan ko lang ha. So, whatever. Siguro, whatever. Ano ulit? Sige, we'll spend 5 more minutes on this item. Tapos, let's move on na. Important lang talaga kasi na you get this item.
Okay, tama ito. We're almost there. get yung um, forge for um get, get yung making sure to get yung Sige guys, let's discuss na. Where, ano, we took a lot of time dito. Teka, nawala yata ako. Hello? Ano ba ka internet? Patay. Okay, let's discuss na guys. Okay, now we've spent a little bit of time here. So, sige, let's go ah. How many minutes lang ba tayo? 30 minutes? Patay tayo. Shucks. Hindi pa na pwede itong technique na to. Okay. So, sige. Ay, hindi pa. Okay. Ayan. Um, sige, let's discuss. Patay. Hindi pa na pwede itong technique na to masyado, no? Sige. Takes a lot of time. So, 30 minutes na lang. Dinisikas pa tayo pa ng kapasitans and ang Kirchhoff's rules. Amit pa kaya tayo sa Kirchhoff. Bahala na. Okay, let's go. Um, sige. Doing ko man yung circuit, ha? Most of you um, are almost there sa dulo. Good job. Uh, you know who you are. Okay na yan. Good job, good job. Ang galing kayo. Um, ito. Sige. Uh, tingin na kayo sa board, ha? Ah, hindi. Ang haba. Ayan. Oh. Um, ten, six, eight, 
for 5.59 volts. So, current from the battery. Get REQ. REQ. Uh, follow me on this, ha. 1 over 1, 8 plus 1 fourth. Plus 6. 1 over yan, plus 1 tenth. 1 over nyan, plus 0.5 plus 5. <laughs> wow, well, bakit ganun? Dapat ganito, i-enter nyo sa calc -Q. Ay, nasaan na yun? Ito, ito, ito. Send ko yung, ano ni, send ko yung calc ni, um, send ko yung calc ni Megan. Dapat ganito. Something like that. No? Dapat nyo enter nyo sa calc na gets kung bakit ganyan? Muna, before I continue. Kasi, I'm going to resolve it again, ha? Ito muna. Ito yun. Tapos series sila. Tapos 1 over that, kasi yun yung equivalent resistance nyan. Tapos series na rin ito. Ayan. Tapos, parallel itong dalawa. So, 1 over ito plus ito. Plus yan. Ang lalabas dyan ay dapat 10 point uh, 14 ohms. Parang ganon. So, how much current is drawn from the battery? 9 over 10.14 ohms equals to 0. 0.88 7, something like that, amperes. Next, letter B. What's the terminal voltage of the battery? E minus IR. 0.887 times 0.5. We should get something around 8.56 volts or 8.55. Lastly, ano yung current through this one. Okay, ano yung current through that? Sige, let's examine na. Let's examine. Kailangan ko lang dito yung voltage from here to here. Nakuha yun? So, natanggalin ko to. Itong dalawa. So, V equals to 9 volts minus IR minus ito. IR. Makuha dapat natin dyan is 4.12 volts. Something like that. Dapat parang ganyan makuha natin. Tapos, after that, uh, ayan, di ba? Nandiyan na tayo. Okay, take note. Parallel circuit to. Burahin ko na iba kasi ito na lang yung may pakita yun. Parallel circuit yan, diba? Lakihan ko lang ha. Parallel circuit yan. So dapat ito, 4.12 volts din. Moreover, Yung current nyan, yung current nito, tsaka nito, equal. Bakit? Kasi series circuit sila. ba? So, kahit kunin ko lang yung current ng equivalent resistance dito, okay na tayo. Nakuha yun, guys? Nakuha ba? Sige, ano yung REQ nito? 6 plus 1 over 1 fourth plus 1 eighth. So, mga, um, sixteen. Ay, wait lang. 
Ano ba dapat ko? 6 ohms? 8 ohms for 6 plus 1. Ay, mali ako. 6 over. 6, 6 plus 1 over 1. 4 plus 1, 8. Ano dapat? Dapat mga 8.67, no? 8.67. So, I equals to 4.12 over 8.67 equals to 0.48. 0 amps. Nakuha ba, guys? Or medyo magulo? <laughs> ano guys, nakuha naman? Yes sir. Nakuha na po. Oh, yun. Okay, sige. Ngayon, let's go back. Okay, may pa tayong di-discuss. Shucks. Kayaan ko kaya to. Tools in electric circuits. Ammeter, voltmeter. Voltmeter, parallel. Kasi, voltages ng elements ay pareho, parallel. Kapag, ammeter naman, series. no? Kasi, ang current sa series ng bawat element ay pareho. Ano ang nangyari pag pinagbaliktad mo yan? Wala na. Sasabog yan. <laughs> Mag-short yung mga... Ano, kasi, negligible yung resistances yan. Okay? Wait, sir. Ah, yung screen pa. Ay! Hindi ko ba... Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Teka. Ano nga, no? Okay, balik tayo. Uh, tools, uh, next time na to. Tools used in electric circuits. Ammeter, voltmeter. Voltmeter connected in parallel with elements na circuit. Kasi pare-pareho yung voltages ng parallel elements. Pagkaman, ammeter in series siya. Kasi pare-pareho yung current. Um, across elements in series. Ano mo yari pag binagbaliktad mo yan? Sasabog yung mga yan. Kasi, negligible yung resistances na mga yan. So, uh, an overcurrent will ano, will damage these parts. No? Uh, Tapos, um, pinagsasama sila sa multimeter. Ito siguro nakagamit na kayo ng ganito sa school. Ayan. It has both voltmeter, ammeter, and pati continuity test meron din dito. Um, you don't, next time na yun. Types of electric circuits. Okay, dalawa lang yan. Yung mga ginagawa natin, closed circuit yon Kasi, walang bukas. <laughs> ano mang. And, uh, nag-flow normally ang current. Ano to? Open circuit. Ayan, no? May gap. Pag may gap, R equals infinity. Obviously, bawal mag... Obviously, bawal mag, ano, bawal mag-flow ang current dyan. Naalala nyo yung V equals IR? Pag sobrang laki nito, wala na halos to. Right? So, zero current. VS, short circuit, R equals zero, kasi walang resistance. Bawal yan. Pag nangyari yan, sasabog yan. Huwag <laughs> yun ng try yun, kasi natry ko na yun. Pangit yun. Um... Not a good experience. <laughs> okay. Ganon, R equals zero, and there we go. Capacitors in series in parallel. Ayan, this one is capacitors in parallel. This one's in series. Ganon pa rin, series configuration if single point of connection. Ganon din, pareho lang. Charge and current is the same for each element. Voltage is not equal. Skip ko na yung derivation, ha? Baliktad sila. Okay? Baliktad sila ng... Baliktad sila ng resistors. Pag sa, si, pag sa resistors in series, ina-add lang. Dito, baliktad. Parang parallel, di ba? Kasi, iba yung ginamit natin. Q equals CV. Take note, equal yung charge. Kaya Q. Next. Ayan. Ganun pa rin. Sum of voltages is V total. Equal ang current, equal ang charge. Capacitance is the, is the sum of the reciprocals. Bale. Ayun. Capacitors in parallel. 
Ganun pa rin, two points of connection with each other pa rin, no? Um, voltage is still the same and charge or current is not equal parate. Skip ko na derivation, pero basically, we should end here. Dapat, dito naman sa parallel configuration, the equivalent capacitance is the sum of the capacitances. So, yan yung formulas natin. C is uh, the total. Uh, I is also the total. Yung voltage is equal for each. And yung charge is, is the sum of the total. Sige, let me demonstrate. Nag-gets muna yun, guys. Sorry if it's a bit fast. Okay naman. Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Ayan na. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna post yung, I'm just gonna send a screenshot ng slide ba maya para uh, hindi kayo malito. Demonstration muna. Sige, look at the board na lang. Hindi natin matatapos yung, ano, hindi natin matatapos yung Kirchhoff's rules. Sige, I'm gonna spend a bit of time on that next week. Um, okay. One fifty NF nano farad yun na one twenty nano farad. Sige, look at the board na nang for now. Ayan. Okay. Series la no. So the end charge is the same. So the hill charge is the same. I can get the R the C E Q muna. Dahil in series sila, 1 over 1 over 150 plus 1 over 1 over 120. Tapos, um, teka, um, pareho lang balalabas doon. Um, teka, let me try something. On 20, 6.7 times 10 to the negative. Ang nano is micro negative 9, di ba? Tama ba? Yes, sir. Billion. Okay. Negative 9. So, times teka namin, try lang ako. Times 10 to the negative 9 times 10 to the negative 9. Okay. Pareho lang. Um, pero, I won't do that, okay? I'll just make this, ano, para madali buhay natin. 66.7 nanofarad. Yun na lang pala, no? Forgot the technique. Yan. 66.7 nanofarad. Okay, what's next? Um, yan na. Tapos na tayo. What is the charge on each capacitor? Q equals CV. 66.7 nanofarad times volts. 48 volts. Okay, fun fact. Kapag minultiply ko yan pareho, tapos na tayo. Kasi ang lalabas lang dyan is 6.7, teka, 1 over. Para hindi kayo mahirapan mag-convert, okay lang. Technique to. Times 48. 3,200 nanocoulomb. Diretso na yun, ha? Yan. Yan na. Tapos na. Yun ang charge sa bawat kapasitor. I'll try something then. 6.67 times 10 to the negative 8 times 40. Yan, tama ako. Tama yung conversion. Yan. So, pwede sa dito sa mga kapasitans, pwede nyo siyang diretsuhin, no? Okay. Next, um, kapag daw kukunin ko yung voltage across each, So, meron na akong charge for each. Diba? Q equals CV. V equals C over Q. So, let's just do that. So, dito, uh, voltage here is 150 over 150 ay, V equals Q over C pala. Uh, 3,200 over 150. Dito, 3,200 over 120. Yun guys, ha? fun fact, pwede hindi na mag-convert dito. Pwede siya, Andre, diretso. Equals to 
Teka, 3,200 divided by 15 is 230. Ay, 21 point. Teka, 3,200 divided by 150 is 21.3. And this one is 26. 0.7 48 ang sum, di ba? Nakuha 'yon, guys. Tara lang, may tumatawag sa akin ah. Hello? Ah? Hello? Ituro ka pa? Yes. Ay, sorry. May sunod ba? Wala. Wala naman, wala namang nagsasal nag ah, Sige. Ah, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nagets 'yon, guys. Yes, sir. Yan, yun lang. Mas, tingin ko nga, mas madali dito eh. Sige, next. Look at the PowerPoint na lang ha. Paano naman pag parallel sila? Sige. Thirty-five. Seventy-five. Two hundred twenty volts. Bahay parallel sila, equal ang voltage. Okay, tapos na tayo. Voltage each, voltage across is 220 volts for each. Ito, next, Q equals CV. 75 times 220 equals to 16,500 Nano coulombs. Uh, I convert na lang natin pa. 1.65 times 10 to the fourth nano coulombs. Medyo pangit, no? Pero just convert accordingly. Then lastly, dito naman, Q equal CV. Equals 35 times 220. So that is 7,700. Nano coulombs. There we go. That's it. Tapos, pag naman kinuha natin yung total, tama. Okay. Oh. Last na to for today, guys. Ganun ulit. I will, I will, ano, I will, matawag dito, I will check on you each. Okay? Sige. Last na to for today. 2.40 tayo nag-start eh. May required homework na ako sa inyo ulit. At four thirty at four thirty one, I will start checking each of you. Each of rules. Patay tayo nito, magamadali tayo nito next week. Well, sige. So guys ha, nasa 3rd to 4th quarter na to, um, according to your course outline. So malayo na yung narating natin. Good job. So ito yung mga, uh, ito yung mga importanteng daanan na yun. Kasi mahirap ito.
Okay, I'll start checking out. Huh? Um, kamusta na? Eu
Ah, okay, clarification, guys. Um, assuming the capacitance of each C1, C2, sorry, sorry, and C3, hindi ko na type C3, is, yan. Cross each capacitor. Ayan guys, basahin nyo na ulit yung tanong. Ang pangit naman ng grammar ko. Sorry. Ayan o. Ayan. On each capacitor. And the, and the voltage across each. Assuming... Kaya, wait lang, balik ako sa tanong mami. Yan.
Sige, draw ko na yung circuit sa board, ha? Um, two minutes more. Tapos discuss na tayo. We are over time for a bit na. Plus two, um, three times. Sige. Okay, sige guys, time is up. I'm sorry. Sige. Um, sorry ah, pero we have to discuss na. Sige, mga away for one minute if merong hahabol. <coughs> okay. Sige. I'll start discussing. So, sige, um, man, may, may type kaya ta sa akin. Sige, I'll wait for that. Q is 8. Yes, tama. Okay, sige, tara, let's discuss, ha? Huh? I'm going to discuss. Um, you might have a different approach, pero sige, this is how I'll do it, ha? Huh? Um, okay. Okay, so, ganito. Hmm... Um, okay, okay, so, ganito, ganito. Um... Diba? Diba, meron tayo nito. Um, Q equals CEQV. CEQ is 
1 over 1 6 kasi is 3 plus 3 6 plus 1 third equals ay times ano times 4 equals 8 microcoulombs ito halata ng 8 microcoulombs and what's next um ito rin 8 microcoulombs Yan lang. Tignan namin yung voltage dyan, di ba? Pero, by intuition, if we look at it, magkapareho ng, magkapareho ng kapasitans. So, yung charge nito, each is 4.0 microhulums. Um, oh, another way to look at it, sige, uh, total charge equals to C times Never mind, never mind. Okay. Sige, never mind, never mind. Ayan. Once we're done. Ayan, meron na tayong charges, di ba? Next, voltage. Ito. Q equals CV. V equals Q over C. 8 over 3, 2.7 volts. Dito, 4 minus 2.7 is 1.3. 1.3 volts each kasi parallel sila. Nagets yun, guys? Nagets yun? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Yes, pa. That's all. Um, sige, maraming salamat. Uh, bilang isang required homework, para hindi nyo rin malimutan to, answer slides 82. 82. Sa, ano, uh, if you have time, no? Answer it if you have time. Uh, requ actually, required nga eh. Sana masagutan nyo and send me before, um, send me before Monday next week. I'm going to upload this naman lahat sa Google Classroom. So, antayin nyo na lang daw. Sige, guys. Yun lang. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Sige, sir. Thank you, Pak. Thank you, Pak. Thank you. Thank you.